what's up fine people of the internet and YouTube world? If you clicked on this link, you probably want to know what's going on with these pickups here. Hey guys, it's me from the future. Just wanted to let you know the actual pickup comparison, like, you know, A, B between the Peacock and the Epiphone pickups, down the road a little bit in the video. So, uh, links in the description if you want to just skip the story part. I just really wanted to get this out for anybody who may be doing a swap or an upgrade on the Epiphone as well. So, uh, more videos to come on the Peacock. I got some jam videos on the way, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I swapped out the Epiphone Les Paul Standard 50s pickups. For the Missing Link Audio Peacock set. I swapped out the tailpiece for Aluminum Goto. Of course the Peacock bridge and neck pickup. I uh, complete new wiring. Here is the, uh, this is all the, the old Epiphone. Electronics. I switched everything out for um, Alpha Pots and the uh, one meg volume for the bridge, which is what Mark at Missing Link Audio recommended. And then the pickups also came with a capacitor for the 50s wiring setup that I did. You can see a picture here, right there. And I swapped out the covers. I actually, I was going through some of my stuff in the closet and found, um, these were off of my old Les Paul traditional. I had uh, many moons ago. And have to do a little fret dressing. Uh, the ends were just a little sharp. Again, not sticking out, just uh, they were a little sharp. So I filed them over, polished them up, and then uh, oiled the, the fingerboard. And uh, boy, if you can't tell, this fingerboard did darken up really nicely. And I just love the look of that Indian laurel. I don't know if it's really any good tone wood, but it sure sounds good on this guitar and looks just fine to me. It's beautiful. It does look a lot like rosewood. I like the, the different coloring in the chocolate browns that are on there. Uh, of course, with the new switch tip, I uh, ended up getting the uh, what looks like more of a vintage Les Paul style reissue tip. Uh, it's a switch craft. Uh, again, these are Alpha Pots. I just reused the knobs that came with the Epiphone. Didn't mess with anything else. The uh, bridge is still the Epiphone bridge. Pickup rings, all the accessories here, that's all except for the switch and the electronics and of course the backplate. Just a beauty of a guitar and I'm impressed at how well these uh, pickups came through I set the height to uh, you know kind of what the recommended starting height is I haven't played with them too much I may do some more pickup adjustments here and there but as a whole I kind of like it um, 
it's 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 different with the the neck pickup and the bridge pickup and the fact that when I'm in the middle position you um there isn't much of a change from the middle to the neck but there is I mean there, there's definitely a change but it's a uh you still you get a little darker going into the neck but you retain that clearness that uh I know that Sean over at uh, the In the Blues, uh, his channel, he talked about that. He's got the Peacock set in his uh, Paul Reed Smith guitar and talks about the same thing, how no matter how much distortion you throw at them, they they maintain that clarity. And uh, yeah, so again, sorry, it's not, uh, I wiped it all down when I got done working on it, but uh, you know, I've been, I wanted to hit the record button. So I've uh, been playing it. I'll end up taking those stickers off soon. But, Forgive me, I got uh, black screws here and silver screws here. I, uh, when I swapped these out, I couldn't reuse the Epiphone screws, so luckily I had some parts laying around. I was able to uh, use these smaller screws to go into the pickup rings. All in all, it, you know, for an Epiphone, I can't say it enough. You guys, this, you know, for a, a budget Gibson Les Paul right now, Epiphone is really putting out some decent guitars. I'm I'm very happy with it. I have a uh, 59 Gibson Les Paul. It's the uh, Southern Rock Tribute. Not the signed one. And, uh, you know, I put that right there with this. The only thing a little different with this, um, I think this is more true to, the, of course, the 57 style where the, the frets are taller, narrow tall. And my 59 uh, reissue is got, uh, they're flatter and maybe even just a little wider uh, frets, but um, I'm getting used to it. This is a little different for me to play so The volumes at seven tones maxed out and uh, you know you get the bridge Both pickups Pay attention here where you go to the neck
I was recording this through the Peacock Overdrive pedal. Uh, this is their, their uh, Germanium limited edition version of it. And it was going straight into the Mason Dixon FE22 1x12 combo. Going out of that into the Ox. So I was re recording this DI. Everything was the same from the Epiphone to the um, Peacock pickups. And then here are the settings on the Ox. I was using the 2x12 JBF120 in the 50 watt mode. I figured that was kind of closest to uh, Dwayne's sound with the Mason Dixon. And the 1176 uh, compressor as a master, and that's it. So hopefully this gives you, and myself, uh, an A-B comparison between the two pickup sets. All right, thank you. All right, guitar volume's on five, tone's maxed out. volume on five. Both pickups on seven tones are maxed out. volume maxed out.
Well, thanks for sticking around and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on the Peacock pickups. Please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and bell it. They're all right down there. Leave a comment, please. It helps the, it helps the channel out, it helps us out. And uh, any questions you guys want to know about these uh, pickups or missing link audio, I will leave a link in the description. All right. Have an awesome day. Cheers. <laughs>